Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's training uh, and today's uh, Zoom call. So today is, gosh, what is it? April 29th, 2021. So uh, April is almost over two more days to get your policies in before April. And then we start on May and, and I'm super crazily excited, as you can tell, um, just because of how this year is, is, is coming together. Uh, everybody is kind of getting vaccinated, so to speak. Uh, we've got uh, the sun is shining. Well, here it's rainy a little bit today, but we love the rain because sometimes there is times where we don't have rain. So we are super excited. Uh, I'm up here in Georgetown, Texas. And so if you can see on the screen here, um, type hello uh, in the chat box or type yes in the chat box if you can hear me. I want to make sure you can hear me. Uh, and I'm so find your chat box. And if you can hear me, put yes in the chat box. I just need a couple of people or one person to type yes in the chat box. If they can hear me so that I'm not talking to myself. So I'll wait until someone, all right, perfect. I got a yes, that's good. So also if you find your chat box and you wanna ask any questions, feel free to put that into, um, into the chat box. Or we've got a small enough, we have a, a small enough group today I think if you have a question, you can unmute yourself. Okay, so I want to make sure everybody can hear you, hear me. Uh, I am recording this, so you will find this. I'm actually redoing my website a little bit today. So you will find this recording on my training website uh, right here in this how-to section. You'll find this video today. So if you have to jump off a little bit early, that's okay. We will get back to it and uh, you can watch it at a later date. And I've got some new videos I'm gonna put up there also. I have a YouTube channel that's coming out. I've got a couple of videos I'm gonna be posting on there, some how-to videos, so I'm super excited. But uh, type yes if you can see my screen. Type yes if you can see my screen. So um, if you can see my screen and you see this final expense training up there, type yes if you can see that. So I wanna make sure everybody can see it and um, what we've got going on here. So I need a yes in the chat box. Perfect, Leo, thank you so, so much for that. We're doing training live now in person. As you can see, this is live and in person. This may be pixelated a little bit right here. This is beautiful Georgetown, Texas. This is where my office is. Uh, we've done two of them so far and we'll be doing our third one on Friday, May the 14th. If you've never been to Central Texas, and you've never you know, experienced Georgetown, Texas. It's, it's a beautiful square, multiple restaurants. I think we've got 10 or 15 restaurants and um, with a theater here, lots of shopping ladies uh, for, for goodies and things for men to do too. And Georgetown is just a really cool place. Uh, I saw something this morning where Georgetown, Round Rock and Austin area is like the second fastest growing community in the nation. Uh, so, um, Come down. We, you know what I've learned from these these uh, gatherings here. You can see us on the courthouse, you know, right there. You can see the uh, the the pixelated kind of uh, where we meet in that room. Uh, there's by the courthouse square. Um, but I, when you when you surround yourself with ten or ten or twelve people that are in the business, they're writing final expense. Uh, they're professionals. They've been, the, you know, they've got stories. They've got history. Gosh, it's so good because when you surround yourself by those people, you begin begin to uh, you begin to get in your blood, and uh, you just feel good. You feel good about you know being a final expense professional. You feel good about going out and helping people, <clears throat> and it's just good stuff, you know. So, so we're gonna start doing these. This is gonna be our third one on Friday, May the fourteenth, live from ten to five. I strongly advise if you can, you want to bring your spouse or significant other whoever you might want to bring, um, stay the night, either Thursday night going into Friday or after the meeting on Friday, stay the night. You'll really enjoy it. You'll really enjoy the historic downtown area. Get you, you know, we're going to bring you a shirt, get you a shirt and get you a lanyard, brand you, and uh, just share a bunch of good um, uh, best practices, answer questions and be there for you. So get on up here, come on up or come down wherever you're coming from, come across and get to Georgetown and sign up for that. We're only taking 12, uh, so sign, get it signed up pretty soon, RSVP, and come learn how to protect families, all right? So I'm super excited about that. For brand new people, my name is Keelan Johnson. I have been in the business 
now for 20, almost 21 years in the insurance business. That is me. Um, I am the sales manager, market manager for Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and now I handle Colorado and some of Kansas. So uh, my hands are pretty full with, with training and mentoring and helping. You know, I'm really just your helper. That's what I am. I am your partner. So I am not a boss of you. I am a partner of you. Okay. So it's very crucial that we, we kind of know the difference there. Uh, and uh, that I'm here to help you be successful. I'm here in any way. You know, I was talking to a gentleman yesterday and he said, well, how do you do the business? You know, what, how do you do it? And I said, you know, I really don't know. And he started, he goes, you don't know. I said, no, I do know ways to help you, but everybody is different. You know, I see people on the line here. I see people that have or tenured people on the line, jumping back on here and getting a little uh, shot in the arm of, of final expense. I see people that are brand new on here. I see people that do telesales. I see people that walk door to door. I see people that are involved in uh, their local communities. I know people that are on the line right now that do uh, set up booths at flea markets, set up booths at wherever. So there's just so many ways I'm so excited to, to know that there's so many ways that we can actually protect families. And I'm super excited that you're on the line here today. And I hope that you get and you, you, you find a way to protect people because that's what it's about. It's about protecting people. And I say this all the time and I'll say it again. And you're gonna hear me be a little bit redundant, but you know, it's this business is not about selling, it's about serving, okay? So when we can, can we when we can determine that we want to become servants versus salespeople. Okay, now I do know there's a time and a place to sell, and a time and a place to provide a product, a time and a place to provide a price, a time and a place to close the deal. But if you can circle your mind just clearly a little bit around this word right here, going into 2021, and about serving about serving people and helping people and helping people that you know, helping people that you buy leads, serving people around you, serving people in your community. Because here's the thing, every policy that we write and every policy I've ever written, people, people thank me. They thank me, they're like, thank you so much for finding us. Thank you so much for writing this policy. Thank you so much for providing the protection you know, and I know there's some people on the line here that sell other things. They sell health insurance or they may sell um, uh, long-term care. They may, may sell Medicare supplements or things. But when we write final expense, we're in the business to serve. We're in the business to protect and to serve. Okay, so I want you to kind of just think about that, you know, as, as we move forward. And I want you to think about also um, this, this, um, this badge here that I've created, I don't know if you can see it real well, but I'm going to kind of right here, this circle up here, it's kind of skewed a little bit. Um, but I want, I want to just focus on that for a second, okay? So when we right here, I'm going to clear drawing, on protecting families, okay? Because this is what it is. You know, I say this all the time in my trainings, you know? <clears throat> I say this all the time in my trainings. Who is it back in the old days that used to protect the town? Who is it that used to be in charge of Georgetown, Texas? Who is it that used to be the man in charge? And it's always the sheriff, the sheriff's in town, the sheriff's in town. He's here to protect us. He is here to protect us. And this is one thing we do also, as you come down to the training, we give you these, you know, I protect family badges uh, to go on your lanyard, which is pretty cool because you got a lot of people that say, whoa, you know, you protect, how do you protect family? Well, that's what we do. And so the word is protect and the word is serve. Protect and serve. It's a lot like law enforcement, you know, uh, but we protect and serve people uh, with our product <clears throat> and with our coverage. And that's what I want to focus on. That's the main thing I want to focus on with the, these trainings is how can I better serve my people? How can I find a way to go serve my people? Is it going to be on foot? <clears throat> is it going to be over the phone? You know, right now, we have several ways as far as leads go, uh, and I'm gonna get into that a little bit later too, but we have several ways to protect people from leads. We have your telemarketed leads, <clears throat> which I'm gonna go through. We have Facebook leads. We have um, 
we have uh, the um, direct mail leads, and now we're starting to get into live TV transfers, okay? Live uh, TV transfers and television ads. So we're gonna we're, de we're dealing a lot in that too. Uh, it's just that takes a little bit of time to sharpen. You gotta be licensed in about 10 or 15 states to get that going because of the volume. But we have that too. So there's more than one way to find people, okay? While we're on leads, I want you to, I want to show you something. Uh, if you're brand new to the business, I don't know if you can see this, I may shrink it down a little bit. If you're brand new to the business, this is a good uh, lead source that we have. And if you want me to send this to you, let me know. Uh, we have partnered up, or I have partnered up actually with Leads Villa. They're a company out of Houston and they do telemarketed leads, okay? So this is gonna be a telemarketed lead. They've made a special price for us. <clears throat> if, you, if you order just in your area code, uh, your minimum order is 20 leads. So for $220, you can get uh, 20 leads, okay? 20, and those are the ones where people, they have a telemarketed, they have a telemarketing center that they call people and they will use your name and say, hey, Leo will be calling you back or Linda will be calling you back or Nora will be calling you back, okay? So that's how, it's a telemarket lead. And then you call, you get the lead and you call the people back and try to close them. Uh, it looks like for statewide lead because it's a little bit easier to get those. It goes down to ten dollars, uh, and then you, if you just want a straight life insurance lead uh, for the state, that goes it's at ten dollars also. Okay, so if you want a copy of this, you can also find uh, this company, Leeds Villa, on my training website. If you go down to on my training website, FinalExpenseLife.us, and you go down to you order your lease today, you can go in right here <clears throat> and you can click here to order. And it will take you straight to Leeds Villa uh, into their company and you can order those straight from there. Tell them you're a Security National Life agent and tell them what you do and they will hook you up with that price, okay? So Leeds Villa. Uh, so that's a, that's a telemarketed lead. A mail out lead looks a little bit like this, okay? This is a mail out lead. So when you, when you order mail out leads, a card is sent out and there's several different versions of the card, but this is one right here. Okay, this is one right here, and this basically says uh, 2018. Of course, it will be updated to 2021. This is a little bit old. This is just a sample of one. They make different ones, but this says you may qualify for state regulated life insurance to pay for your final expense, regardless of your medical condition, even if you've been turned down. It's important to know how you qualify. The benefit will pay 100% of funeral costs up to 35,000. This payment is tax-free for ex-residents. You're entitled to receive a no-cost information resident return this with a prepaid postage within five days. So they put their name there. They put their address there. And hopefully they fill out everything correctly. You take this card and you walk up to their doorstep. Knock, 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 knock. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I'm here to see you. Uh, looks like you completed one of these cards right here. And I'm here to visit with you about it. Uh, when's a good time we can, or where's a good, where's a good place that we can sit down to visit? and you simply walk up to their door and you talk to them. This is a mail out lead. This is a sample of a mail out lead, okay? So right up here, this is direct mail. So we have three companies that send these out for you, direct mail leads. Now, these top two programs, you're, uh, you're able to use your lead credit on, okay? So for brand new people, what is lead credit? Lead credit means that every sale you write, you get 10% of the annualized premium in lead credit, okay? So we give you money, give you money, okay? So 10% of everything you write goes into what we call lead credit, okay? So this money goes down here and it accumulates in a bucket, accumulates in a bucket, money goes in there. So if you write, $2,000, you write $2,000 in annualized premium. So $2,000 in annual premium. That's one. Then $200, which is 10%, will go into your lead credit. Right, so $200 will go into your lead credit. All right. So this money will go into this bucket. When you get ready to go buy leads with these, either one of these two companies, one or two, 
either you do direct mail or you do Facebook leads, you can take this money, this lead credit that's in your bucket and help pay for it. Okay, help pay for it. So we are going to pay, Security National Live is going to pay for half of the cost of your lead. Wow. So what happens here is, is that because this money never touches your pocket, we pay the lead vendor. It's tax free to you. It's tax free. You don't have to pay taxes on it. And then the other half, the other half of the money that you do, you buy leads with is from you. Okay. So you pay the other half. We pay half, you pay half. This cuts your lead cost in half. And it's very, all the successful people that, that buy, that continue to buy leads in this business, that's how they do it. They leverage the company's money and they make the company pay for half the cost of their leads. So if you go in there and you get 20 leads, mail out leads, you know, may normally cost you 600, but with lead credit, it brings it down to 300. Facebook leads, instead of $20, it's $10 a lead. Okay, so these two opportunities, the Facebook leads and the direct mail leads are available to you at half cost if you've got your lead credit in there. Okay, so the telemarketed leads at the bottom, you see opportunity number three, you can't use your lead credit on this, but they're already $10. Okay, they are already $10 and hopefully in the future, if we start using this company and it's proven, then we can get the company to also go in here and help you guys and girls out with the cost of the telemarketed lead. Okay. A telemarketed lead. Let me see if I can show you kind of a sample of what one, I mean, I'm sorry, a Facebook lead. Let me back up. I'm getting a little fast here. A Facebook lead looks a little bit like this. Uh, they have, let me look right here. Um, here we go. So this would pop up right here on your Facebook and you know, say, we're pleased to announce a new final expense life insurance programs available. Thousands nationwide have taken advantage of this affordable program to compete for 35,000 for each person that's covered. The plan was designed to help pay expenses not paid for by other funeral plans. Attention takes your risk. So people click on that on the learn more button and they go right into there and they enter their information and you get the Facebook lead. Okay, here is one in Spanish. Okay, it's our pleasure to announce the new final program that's available. Thousands of people nationwide, okay, have taken advantage of this program. Can pay up to thirty-five thousand for each person. The plan was designed to pay for expenses not covered by other plans. Okay, and it's in English and Spanish. So look at that ad. People click in there on the learn more. They enter their information in there. You get the lead and you call them back. Okay, so that's a Facebook lead. That's a very good sample of a Facebook lead and what it looks like. So in summary here, we've got three lead sources for you, okay, to go out and to buy or purchase, okay? So I wanted to show you that this morning because I think it's it's very underused. If you want, if you have a question about that, contact me later to, as to how much lead credit you may have if you've been writing business, uh, the rules and regulations of the program, but leverage the company's money Leverage the company's money to buy leads, okay? Because it's very important that you have people to see. And that's the name of the game, is to see people, have enough people to see and spread the news and protect people, okay? So I'm super excited about that. So I hope you can take advantage, absolutely, of the lead program and we can grow from the lead sources. All right, so I want to just kind of throw that out there from the beginning. Again, if you're on the chat button, okay, I'm gonna type hello over here. If you have any questions or if there's something you wanna learn about, if there's something specifically you wanna know about, type it in the chat box and I'll be glad to get over to that and at least cover what you want to see and what you would like to visit about, okay? So go in there and find your chat box and do that. All right, so this morning I want to go over and I'm gonna go through a telesales application, okay? I'm gonna go through a telesales application. Last week, I went through a paper application. And this week, I'm gonna show you how to do a telesales application, okay? But before we do that, I want you to, to jump on in, on your phone or your iPad or your computer. Find my finalexpenselife.us up here at the top. Find this website on one of your devices because I want you to follow along because I think it's very important 
that you learn how to use this and how to expand this because this is where all of my information is. Okay, this is where the majority of my information is in finalexpenselife.us. The company does have a training website also, but I like mine better. <laughs> so just because I can put the things and tools in there that I think you might need. All right. So just to, just to also make sure everybody knows about the trip we've got going on, the trip that we have going on. Okay. Uh, it started this month and it's 90,000. And we don't know if we're going to go to Peru or Bali next year. But if you are and you want to go on a magnificent trip uh, with the company and with peers and people that are surrounded by you, take a look at that. If you have any questions about it, let me know. All right. Because it's an amazing trip. It's a 13 or 14 week contest. And everybody, I want to see everybody on there. Okay. Because a beautiful, all expenses paid vacation that you'll never, we're, we're supposed to go this year to Israel. That's kind of up in the air. I don't know with the COVID and everything. So we'll see. But find finalexpenselife.us. I want to take a helicopter approach in here and show you kind of the things that are in here. Okay, last week's training, that's been a couple of several weeks ago. So I'm going to change that out uh, for, for everybody, for brand new people. Uh, uploading documents. This is how to upload a paper app into your portal. Okay, how to upload a paper app into your portal. Okay, so what is our goal? Um, okay, what is, what is every agent's goal in this territory? Two plus policies a month, okay? Now, some of you are gonna write a lot more than that. I do understand. But for, for those of y'all that are new with us, our goal, our goal in this territory is two plus apps. Why two plus apps? Why, Keelan, I didn't get in this business for you to tell me what to do. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know I had a quota. No, that you're right. You are completely right. But I think that, you know, you're going to be successful and you're going to feel good about yourself. And you're going to be branded and you're really, really going to get a great feeling if you can at least go out and find two plus people. It can be 22. It can be 32 because I think it will be once you get the hang of it. But two plus, two plus people per month. That's not a lot. OK, the company that, you know, Security National Life, I work for Security National Life. Okay, so I am paid by Security National Life. So they have to pay bills too. And they have to have an office and they have to have office support. And they have to have people. Okay, so it costs money to appoint you, it costs money to appoint you in other territories. Okay, so this company has to run on, on the fact that new agents are coming in and they're writing policies and they're protecting people and protecting lives. So I challenge you to just, just think about two plus. Think about two plus policies per month and how am I gonna find those two people? Who are the two people this month? Who are the two people that I'm gonna go protect? Who are the two little stick figures that get protection from me this month? And I think if you start with two people, it's gonna turn into three and four and five and you're gonna buy leads. And before you know it, you're protecting 10, 15 people per month and your family is happy, all right? So your family is happy. So let's start with two plus. I don't think that's much to ask for everybody to try to shoot for two plus policies per month, all right? So please, please help me help you and let's try to get that done. And I think everybody will be happy, bro. Um, changing the language, okay? So if you see, we have an agent portal right here. This is agent portal 1.0. This is what it looks like. So this is what most of y'all probably have logged into. This is Agent Portal 1.0. So when I talk about Agent Portal 1.0, this is what you'll see. It'll be the boxes here. And this is the, I call it old, but we're still using it. Uh, Agent Portal 1.0, uh, where you're gonna go to find several things here. You're gonna find uh, on your portal here, for those of y'all that are new, you're gonna find your account, which is your information statements that's where you make your money late and lapse notices if you got anybody that's late and lapsing okay new business new business okay so new business is where you write new business okay so i'll show you that here in a minute too when we get into telescopes app. marketing right here this is going to be all your supplies and supplies ordered so everybody that's brand new now you need to go order supplies 
I'll show you a little bit about that also. Lead generation, this shows you your lead balances, and then some news about the company, some contact people in the management, and then all of your, your uh, down here, you're going to see your contests and things, okay? So you'll see contests down there for yourself, President Circle of Excellence, President's Trip, okay? That's the newest trip that we're going to be going on. So if you see this view qualifications here, it will take you to the President's Trip for 2022. And I want to see everybody that's here today on this trip because it's really going to be good and they really go all out. Okay, they really go all out. President's trip, you can see here somewhere they're going to go to Peru, uh, South America, Bali. Okay, so it's going to be really amazing. You still have time. It's just we're only one month in. Okay, it goes through all the way through May 31st. So it actually is April 1st through May 31st. So it's a that a 14 month contest. So it's only 90,000 for 14 months. Okay, so order your leads and you can make that trip for sure. All right, so that tells you a little bit about Agent Portal 1.0. Okay, if you're looking to go to Agent Portal 2.0, which is the newest thing here, as you see here, all you have to do is when you go to your new business tab on 1.0, you see this yellow bar here, it says click here. And if you need me to send you a link, I can text it over to you for Agent Portal 2.0. If you click here, it takes you right over. And you're going to be using the same username and password, okay, the same username and password that you would use on 1.0. You're going to use it on 2.0, all right? So you're going to use it on 2.0. So it takes you right here to 2.0, and there's some handy dandy. This is really, they put this together really well. Uh, you've got new business um, right here. And new business, what you're going to be using this for is on new business upload, you're clearly going to be taking your paper applications, okay, paper in person, and simply click right here on your phone or your tablet, or if you've got it in your computer, upload it right here, click or drag a file here to upload, okay? So that's where you're going to upload your paper applications on Agent 2.0. If you still want to do paper applications and you have a scanner, go to over here to 1.0 and clearly go to new business. Again, new business and just do the new, new business upload. And that's going to allow you, as you see right here in this new business, to go in there and basically take the file that you've uploaded, okay, put the insured's name here, it's required, and then take the file that you've uploaded right here and send it to the company, okay? If there's any comments in the section there, it's where you would need to put it, put any comments for the underwriters, okay, and simply just send it over to the company. All right. The second thing we have here is a rate calculator. So most of y'all know how to use a rate calculator, but if you don't, jump in there and play around uh, or watch some of my older videos, but it's basically pretty simple. You just jump in here. You can save this also, okay? Save this also to your home screen. Save these things to your home screen. How do I do that, okay? On my training website right here, finalexpenselife.us, and if you look at the top, if you look at the top, there's really, really not that many things you need to, to have on your phone, but this is one, finalexpenselife.us. The second one is your agent portal 1.0, agent portal 2.0, and then maybe just your rate calculator. Okay, so if you look that, look there, there's about four things that you would want to save onto your one, two, three, and four. So take a picture with your phone right now of this screen because these are the four things that you're going to need to save onto your phone as an icon, as an icon. Well, Keelan, how do we do that? How do I save something to my phone as an icon? It's a good question. Adding an app on your phone. Okay, so I'm going to click right here. I'm going to show you how this little, little video works. I literally 
Googled best online life insurance. Ladder Life Insurance popped up. It was so fast. And you can add an app icon to the home screen of your iPhone or iPad for easy access to the agent portal. Open the agent portal website in your web browser. Tap the share button at the bottom of your screen. It's the one that looks like a box with an arrow pointing out of it. Then find the add to home screen button. You can rename the icon if you like. We're going to keep this as agent portal. And now you've got a shortcut added to your home screen. You can now access this from the home screen of your phone. And with just a tap, you've opened the agent portal. So do you see what it looks like now you have right here as you do this you'll have an icon added to your phone okay and one of them will be what agent portal 1.0 agent portal 2.0 rate calculator and then my training website okay so that's pretty easy to add onto your phone and just a tap you've opened the agent portal all right so how do we do it on and Android, this is another little simple one, okay? You can add an app icon to the home screen of your Android phone for easy access to the agent portal. All you need to do is open the agent portal website in your Chrome web browser and press the three dot menu in the top right hand corner of your screen. You want to find the option that is add to home screen. You're now able to rename the app if you'd like. We're gonna keep it as Agent Portal. Tap Add. This next screen may vary a little bit based on the phone you have. In this case, we're just gonna tap Add. And now you've got a shortcut added to your home screen. You can see that we can now access this from the home screen of our phone. And with just a tap, you've opened the Agent Portal. All right, so very easy there. To take your apps and take these things and put them into and onto your phone. All right. So with that, with that being said, let's move on down. All right. You actually also on Agent Portal 2.0. I'll show you something really cool. On Agent Portal 2.0, do you see the little man up here in the top right? Okay. The little man up here in the top right on Agent Portal 2.0. If you prefer Spanish, you can click that right there and change the default language to Spanish. And this may be a little bit more friendly when you talk about reading. Okay, so here everything's in Spanish. So just take a look at that. If you prefer that, that's okay. Uh, but that's available for you. All right, how to sell a policy in person? I think most all of us do. For new people, uh, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go through this today. I did last week, and uh, but if you have some questions on it, let me know. We can go through it on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But basically, in summary. It's an easy four-step process. Gather your supplies. Gather your supplies. The supplies you need is a presentation, a funeral planning fact sheet, an application, and the COVID questionnaire. A little bit on the COVID questionnaire, just for rehash, the only time that you need a COVID questionnaire is if the people are 65 and over and if they are preferred standard okay so that's the only time you're going to need a covid questionnaire so don't make the client fill one out if they're under 65 and if they're modified don't worry about it but the only time you may want to take a note or a screenshot on that the only time you need it is if they're 65 and over all right and it's preferred or standard the next step, complete the application. I'm going to go through a telesales application, so you'll get a little bit about the, you'll learn a little bit about that today, but, uh, and then you basically send it to the company. Remember, sending it to the company is what? Taking a picture or uploading it. Okay, taking a picture or uploading it, either one. And then also check your policy progress tab. There's a cool tab uh, on this, on our, on our agent portal 1.0 and 2.0, but Mainly here, you go to new business. This is a new tab, but if you send something in, I get so many agents going, well, I don't know where my policy is, or I don't know. So right here in this policy progress, the company has put this for you in there to watch your policies, okay? 
Also, if you're on the line and you have a team of agents or you have some agents that you work with, you can also should be able to see their policies also on the Agent Portal 2.0. Okay, and Agent Portal 2.0, you should be able to see their information also underneath the reports, okay, under policy reports here, policy progress right here. Okay, so you should be able to see that on 2.0, your team's business that goes through. All right, the second way we do it, which we're gonna be going through today is how to sell a policy over the phone. You simply click in to either, either of your agent portal 1.0 right here. Okay, so you, let me get this circle here. You do either do it right here. Okay, or you go with my little red dot here down to the telesales right here button. Okay, so you have two ways to, that will launch you into the telesales app so that you can complete the application and write it, okay, for your people, and write it for your people, all right? Because we're what? Going to all write two policies in May. All going to write two policies in May, okay? And so I want to know when you do that because I want to congratulate you. Um, two, two plus policies. Another way to get a rate calculator, I've got another rate calculator here, okay? And then for new people and, and current people, don't forget all these tools that I have here. The four policies okay, that we offer. A simple security plan summary. So if you have someone, and this is the way it looks, if you have someone that says, hey, can you send me some information? Sure, I can. Look, you can print this off. You can screenshot it. Uh, you can take a picture of it. You can post it on your Facebook page. And while I'm on that, while I'm on that, everybody that has a license needs to jump in and promote yourself on Facebook because there's a lot of your people that are looking for you. A lot of people are looking for coverage. A lot of people are looking for protection these days, okay? A lot. So if you'll just promote yourself on the largest platform that you have about what you're able to do, don't sell people, but they need to know what you do. They need to know you're important and they need to know what you do, okay? So make sure you do that. And here's some things that can help you out there. Also, join my Facebook page. I've got a business Facebook page. You can find it under, under Keelan Johnson. I've got a, a personal one and a business one. Click on the business one. And the reason is I also have a forum in there uh, and I post things um, that, are, that are relevant. I post relevant things in there, uh, like the trips, like people that are winning awards, like when the next training is available, you know, and just really some good things that, that are in there. And I would really like to, for you to connect in there and watch that because there's also some things you can share. You can share some of my posts with your people and hopefully that will turn into an opportunity for you for a sale, okay? Rate book and underwriting, you will get one of these and or you should be able to um, uh, download one, but here it is in PDF version, our rate book and underwriting, okay? So just a couple of things I wanna point out, especially the brand new people and maybe some of the tenured ones too that may have forgotten. Uh, but we do have our preferred plan and our standard plan. They are day one coverages. And then our modified plan, that is a plan that basically for two years, if someone were to pass away for two years, the beneficiary would get all the money back plus an additional 10%, plus 10%, okay? Also look at these age bands for preferred. See preferred down here, age bands 35, okay? It goes all the way up to 90. Notice it goes up to 90. We can go up to 90 in preferred and standard all the way to 90. And we can go up to 85 in modified, okay? While I'm on that subject, don't forget also that you don't have to have a social security number with us. You can have an I-10 number and we will accept an I-10 number instead of a social. So if you have some people that have I-10 numbers only, that's a good thing. We will take I-10 numbers instead of socials. Okay, so just make note, make note of that uh, as you move along. A little bit further down, if you are writing a security care plan, which the security care plan is for our people under 40. So our people under 40 are on a security care plan. It looks a little bit like this. Um, again, on security care plan, 
our select and special are the day one coverages. Select is our best rate. And then you have special and you have limited. So take, take a look at the way that the limited pays right here. A uh, year one is 25, year two 50, year three 75, and year four 100. Okay. But we find people ages zero to 40 fall into this category and they want, you know, up to $15,000. If they want more than $15,000, we can write an, what we call an eye care plan, eye care plan. And that goes between 25,000 and 30, okay? 25,000, and I'll kind of show you that here in just a moment. And then going on down to the MIB plan. So if you go to your rate guide and you look at the very bottom right here, okay? So this is an eye care plan. And basically what an eye care plan does is it, it's a growing plan. So it gains and it grows. For example, uh, I don't know if you can see this, maybe so, hopefully. Um, see these age groups right here? I'm just gonna point them out on the circle, and highlight them, okay? These age groups, 55 to 64, zero to 54, 65, 74, and 75 to 80. Those are the age groups within these, this, this plan. Uh, depending on the age, depends on what? Depends on the interest rate that we're paying. Look at there, 25, 42, down here at the bottom, 11 and two and a half, okay? So what happens here is that, let's say we have a 60 year old person, okay? And we're gonna write them a $9,000 policy, okay? $9,000 policy right here, okay? so. Let's do that. So we have $60 a month, okay? So every month, this client is gonna put in $60 into this plan, okay? How many, how many years did they do it? For 10 years, okay, for 10 years. You see the 10 pay plan up here? See 10 pay right here, okay, 10 pay, $60 a month. Well, every month they put in $60, Security National Life's gonna come in and throw in 25% extra, which is $15, okay? So in total, the whole plan, the company and the client are gonna be putting in $75 a month in this plan. And it's gonna grow, and it's gonna grow, and it's gonna grow, and it's gonna grow until it reaches, what, $9,000 over a 10-year period, and then the client has $9,000 in coverage. What if the client dies before that 10-year period is up? Then the beneficiary gets all the money that the client and the person have put in. So all the money, there's going to be a little bucket down here, and all the money that's been accumulated is in there. Now, if the client dies before the 10-year period is up, and they die in an accident, they get the full $9,000 if they die in an accident, okay? So it's a growing plan, okay? But the only people you're gonna find that you're really gonna write in here are gonna be people <clears throat> on dialysis, maybe people with Alzheimer's, dementia, and those kind of things, okay? So when we look over here, backing back up to the four policies that we have here, our simple security plan is our core product. I think for most of y'all, they all understand that. That's what you're gonna be writing 95% of. Our security care plan, if you look over here to the right, is for ages zero to 40. Our MIB plan, clear this off here. So we got our MIB plan, okay? And that's gonna be for our people that are unhealthy or see the man on the, in the walker. And then our eye care, if you have anybody younger, say they're 25 or 30, 35 years old, yeah, and they need a policy, all right, uh, for twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars. That's where we can write them. They've got to be pretty healthy, though. Okay, pretty healthy. But mainly, mainly ninety-two percent, because I know that's because we write ninety-two percent of our all of our policies are up here in our simple security plan. Right up here in our simple security plan. Height and weight is very important, uh, and here's why. When you write our plan, our simple security plan online, they have to file, they have to fall within these certain weight and height and weight guidelines. Okay. They have to fall within these guidelines. For example, if you have someone 5'8, 
they can wait up to 262 and still get preferred and standard. But once they go over 280, they, they're a decline. So they can wait up to 280 and get graded. Up to, the word is up to 280 and get graded. Well, Keelan, what if they weigh more than 280? What if they're over 280? Okay, let's say they're over 280. And we can still write them, but what we have to do on 5.8 is we will have to go down here and write them a security care plan. And that means also that you will have to go see them in person because we don't have this one online yet. 5A, 355. They can wait up to 355 and get what we call the limited plan for $10,000. The limited plan for $10,000. So if you have someone that's challenged a little bit on the weight side, Make sure you look at this chart to determine where they can be. The other thing too, is that even if they're over 355, so watch me now, uh, even if they're over 355, you can still write what an M I B policy because the MIB plan has no height and weight restrictions on it. Okay, so there is no height and weight restrictions on the MIB plan. That's kind of our guaranteed issue plan. Okay, but we want to try to get them the best policy first, which is going to be the simple security plan is going to be the best policy first. So just know where those are. Okay, do something for me. Ask for referrals every time you're in the house of someone. Take this sheet of paper right here. Okay, take this sheet of paper and print it off. Have it memorized. Because here's the thing is that people will give you referrals. People love you. People like you. By the time you get through writing a policy, Matter of fact, this could be your two plus policy uh, opportunity here. Write a policy and then ask them for some referrals because here's what you want to do. You want to be able to solidify yourself, which means this. You want to be able to ask them, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, are you happy with me? Did I do a good job? Um, would you recommend me to people? Do you have any questions that I might answer? Because you want to make sure that there's no stones left unturned. And what that means is that there's no doubt in their mind that they want to keep this policy forever and ever and ever. Okay. And you are their agent. Okay. So did I make you feel comfortable? Are you happy with the protection? Did I answer all your questions? Would you recommend me to friends, relatives, and neighbors? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. And then when you do that, they say, of course I would. Of course I would, you know, I would love to, okay? Uh, then write them down here and I would be glad to talk to them and visit with them, okay? I'd be glad to talk to them and visit with them because I want customers and I want clients just like you. Just like you, I want clients, okay? So no matter who you are, Linda, Maribel, Mary Cruz, Nora, Sandra, Susan, Veronica, uh, Leo, Linda, everybody on this call, are y'all are special, and your your people love you, and they want you to do business with their people too. Okay, so never forget to ask for referrals. This is going to make you from a good agent to a great agent if you get used to doing this. Okay, so just wanted to put that out there for you. All right, and then if you're brand new and you want some help on setting uh, some objections, and then also the lead credit program, you can click right here and look at this. Uh, if you are in one of these states, you can actually have a shortcut and go to your apps here. Uh, there's your leads and everything. Uh, contact the company, uh, write this number down and make sure you have it in your phone because this is also the number you're gonna use. This is also the number you're gonna use to when you do a telephone sale you're going to use this number to call in and do a phone verification. Okay, so I'm going to show you about that also. Okay, and how, how to do that. All right, so let's jump right over here. One other thing I want to do before I go into an application. Uh, if you're if you're new, if you're new and you want to order some supplies, okay, go into your marketing tab here at the top. Okay, go into your marketing tab at the top and go into order supplies. Okay, it's a very easy right here. First of all, you have these little tabs to the left. You have applications. Okay. So if you have applications, you can also filter it down over the left to your state that you're in. Okay. So there's all the Texas applications. Okay, there's the Texas application. Again, you have a simple security plan. 
security care plan. Remember we talked about that? Okay. And the MIB plan. Okay. If you need a, if you need a um, eye care plan, let me know and I can get you one of those also. Okay. Now these are also interesting. These contract completion brochures. Okay. Uh, these are also good right here. So we got contract completion right here. I'm going to click on that. And let me click to enlarge. All right. So this is a color coded uh, sample of how to fill out the application. Okay. This is really cool. It's a color coded how to fill out an application. You can take a look at that and it will show you exactly how to complete the policy if you're doing a paper application. All right. So that's pretty cool there. All right. So let's go back. And if you want brochures, click on the left on brochures. So everybody needs brochures. So if you're taking notes, write this down. If you want English, there it is right there. Okay. If you want Spanish, your presentation is right here. These other two things, you can order some if you want. Uh, they're basically um, some brochures that you can take. And I don't know if you can see that real closely, but it's got a, um, if I can enlarge, click to enlarge, I'll try to. Yeah, there it is. So it's a piece of mind brochure. So it looks like this and it's got some writing on the inside. And what happens is if you leave it somewhere, if you leave it somewhere, you will have your, on the reverse side of it, you have your agent number there and there's no postage necessary. So you have your an agent number on there. And if somebody sends that back in to you, you will get the lead. The company will send you the lead and they will say, hey, we've got a lead here for you from Mrs. Jones and they will send it to you and you can go right to sell. Okay. Those are free to you. So if you want to order some of those and leave them somewhere, like if you know someone has a doctor's office, a dentist office or wherever, those are pretty good. Funeral planning fact sheet, very important. If you watched last week's webinar, you can see how to use that. This is 122 things. It's in English and Spanish. Okay. This is 122 things that you need to think about <clears throat> that going to cost extra money just things that the client needs to think about at the time of a death or the time of passing. Okay, so it's very, very crucial that uh, all of our clients know that. Uh, last week's webinar, I did the, the sample of that and how to present that to people for the week before. So I'll be posting those also, the new videos today. I'll be posting those on my training website. So that's why when you see this tomorrow, it will look different. And I will have new training videos on there. In, and I'll also have today's training on that. All right. So order some of those. As you see right here, you know, you can add to your cart and you can order them. And leads, if you want to order Facebook leads, okay, there's your Facebook right there, leads. There's also some uh, final expense door hangers. It looks like they're 10 cents a piece. These are pretty cool too. If you're out and about and you want to, um, send a client or leave something for a client, you can send these and leave these for a client on their door. Uh, it will also have a spot down here where you can add your agent number in. And if it's returned back to the company, you will get that lead, okay? You will get that lead. And then some swag, we have a few things here, some shirts, some pens, pad folios. You know, I always challenge you, I challenge you, challenge you, challenge you. If you're not gonna come to my training and get a free one, <laughs> then you can order one of these online uh, you need to be branded. Branding yourself is a very big deal in this business. When you walk up to a door and you're branded, okay, that's why they used to do it in the Western days. They used to brand their cattle. They used to brand themselves, okay? It just means you're a part of something. It means you have identity. It means you are identifiable, okay? So the word identity is also big, okay, in this business because it shows the client that you're not just somebody off the street. You're special. You are a professional. You are licensed and you're here to take care of them. And that makes them feel comfortable. That makes them feel really important and special. Okay. So I challenge you, challenge you, challenge you to brand yourself. And I would rather you brand yourself with SNL and, and go blue. Okay. Cause we got, remember, we have to figure out a way to get to our what our two plus policies, okay? Two plus policies, and we need to be branded there. Okay, so if you need some help there, let me know. Also, you can filter some things out by English and Spanish here. I think there's a, a Spanish opportunity in here, uh, but also 
But yeah, branding, branding, branding. All right, so let's do this. Let's go back into our home page here and let's go right into a application. Do I have a volunteer out of everybody on this phone that would like to be my client today? If you are, you can unmute yourself and I would love to, to uh, have you online here. So is there anybody that's in a quiet area that can unmute themselves that can be my client, be my volunteer? I see there's a quite a few people on here. Surely somebody will be my volunteer or somebody will work with me. Somebody's going to unmute pretty soon, I think. <clears throat> so I have no takers. I have nobody that wants to unmute themselves and talk to me. I'll be my client. Please, please. All right, I'll just do it then by myself. So, <laughs> so I understand everybody might be busy. They're doing something else. They might be um, have some background noise. So that's not a problem. Uh, so here we. So look, we got two ways to do a, a telesales application. Two ways. Okay. Clear out my drawing. I thought my drawing. Okay, we got telesales right here. Okay. We got telesales right here, and then we also have it right here so i'm going to go into here and pretend that i am visiting with mrs jones and me and miss jones have already determined that she wants a policy and we have determined that uh, we're going to go ahead and write it up miss jones has all of her you know and i challenge you to do a couple of things here uh before you get online before you get into here make sure that your client has a couple of things make sure your client before you get into this has the medications that they're that they're taking and number two make sure they have their banking information you don't want to get all the way into this application because it is what we call a secure app which means it is protecting the client which means that if you sit here too long idle it will clear out and you can't get it back okay so i always i always make sure that I have at least a paper app in front of me. Therefore, when the client is talking about their address or the client is talking about their phone numbers or the client is talking about their banking information, I like to write it down in person also. That way, if I ever time out or if I get something wrong, I can definitely, I can definitely go back and fill that out and complete it versus having to ask them, would you give me that information again? Okay, so make sure you have, you know, in these case and points, make sure you have the medications and the banking information. And also, if they have the information, which is also good, uh, you may want to make sure that they have uh, the information for if they have a, their beneficiaries. And if they also, if there's going to be somebody different, it's going to be the owner. Okay, so we want to make sure of that. Okay, the owner is different. So get that information because you're going to see where it's going to come into play and it is crucial. All right. So all we do, this is just the disclaimers right here. Okay, this just means that you're going to write the policy and you're on the line with the people that are going to write the policy. Okay, you have to agree to the button right here. And I'm just going to, you know, put some information in here, just fake information, just for purposes of filling out the application, but you'll be asking them. You don't have to have uh, if a client doesn't want to, you don't have to have a middle initial. That's not required. Okay. The state where the person is at. Okay. So it's very important. The state where the person is at. If you're, if you're licensed in other states, that's okay. You just need to put the state of where that person is actually at. Okay. So we got, uh, here we go, uh, socials. Okay, genders. Height and weight is important here because that's going to make sure that they qualify for the simple security plan. Okay, okay. So there's uh, that and the desired coverage. So let's say you want fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, Miss Jones is actually doesn't weigh two twenty, but I'm just putting in information there. Okay, 
So we're going to continue, and the, it's going to tell us if we messed up or not. All right, perfect. We didn't. We're going to start the simple security plan. So you see right here, this is the insurance information. I'm going to put one, two, three, main, which is fine. We're going to see the city and state where the client's at. Okay. Texas. Okay. So we have we have that information here. I had somebody on the iPhone. Did you have a question? All right. Um, so the city and state. Now watch this, okay? Email address and everything. Keelan Johnson at hotmail.com. Phone number, okay? Date of birth. Everything's in there right there. All right. If the insured is the same as the owner, you can just quickly toggle that over and it will fill it out. If the payor is the same as the owner, don't fill it out again. Just copy it. Click right here. Okay, and it will fill it out for you. If not, then you can fill out that information. Remember, remember this. This is the first person, number one. Okay, that's the first person to a contract. This is the second person to a contract. Okay, the owner. And this is the third person to a contract, the payor. Now, they can all be the same or they can all be different. You don't have to have, you know, be completely related to someone to write a policy. They just have to be able to sign the policy. Beneficiaries, that's where you would add a beneficiary. So first and last name of a beneficiary, the address uh, right there, okay. Phone number, blah, 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 blah. Let me see if that'll fit. And then right here, none at none.com okay so none at okay so that's that's going to be that's going to mean they don't have a an email address if they do have an email address that they want to use go ahead and put that in there that would be only used for communication if there was a policy problem and then your relationship uh children and then primary. So you can put as many primary beneficiaries as you want in there and as many contingents, save that, okay? So that will save it to there. Tobacco, yes or no, within the last 12 months. And then remember, just like a paper application, this, this part right here is our knockout questions. Section one is knockout for brand new people, okay? So really what we're asking for is a couple of things. I'm gonna summarize, I'm not gonna read it today. But basically, in the past 30 days, have you been admitted into a hospital, okay, and confined to a bed, or are you terminally, terminally ill? Yes or no, okay? Next question is, down here. Next question is, within the past 30 days, have you had a seizure? Next question, do you need assistance? For the daily activities of life and that's eating uh personal hygiene dressing transferring the main things okay not just that well mom comes over and, and brings me a casserole every once in a while okay within the last 30 days have you had cancer or tumors tumors or cancers yes or no okay have you been diagnosed for alzheimer's and dementia from alzheimer's and dementia we find that a lot Okay, so if we have Alzheimer's and dementia, we can go to the MIB plan, MIB. Okay, also we find in this section where hep C and cirrhosis of the liver, cirrhosis of the liver comes into play right here. Matter of fact, I was just on the line here uh, and I got a text message from an agent that says, uh, do we know if SNL has a plan for women who have cirrhosis of the liver, okay? We're knocking, if this is a knockout right here, <clears throat> this, is a, this is a yes, we have to go to the MIB plan, okay? Organ transplants, we can't have any organ transplants. Dialysis, that's where our MIB plan also comes into play, and then basically your HIV, okay? So be aware and take a look at those, those things because these are all knockouts. You see how you have to toggle them over to no? They're already on yes, but you have to toggle them over to no. Section two, 
This is our standard section, standard. This is what means that someone would qualify for standard. If this is yes, if this is yes, and Mr. and Mrs. Miss Jones or me or whoever is taking insulin, okay? So I want you to keyword, keywords here, insulin medication, right here. Please explain you're taking insulin and how many units a day, okay? How many units a day? 50, okay? What is our key number here? Our key number that we can't go over is 100 units. So we have to have less than 100 units to be standard. So if you're taking notes and you know, write this down, for standard, it has to be less than 100 units, okay? And you're going to find that, okay? You're going to find this because in section right here, you're going to see then we're going to also ask about the 100 units or more of insulin within a 24 period. And if they're taking more than 100 units, we go into this section, which is our modified section, okay? So we are right here in section three. If there's any yeses, okay, if there's, if there's any yeses in here, we have a modified policy. Okay, so you see how we toggle them. Remember how we toggle them. I'm going to toggle this one over to no. But in our modified section right here, we have the same things going on. The same things. Okay, so what are we looking for here? What are we looking for here? Well, if you see this right here, you're going to see that within the past two years, has the proposed been diagnosed, tested positive for, treated, prescribed medicine for? Okay, so any of these things, even if it happened longer than th two years ago, they might be still prescribed medicine for it, like blood thinners <clears throat> or any of these things. They might be taking these preventative medicines, okay, for something that happened over two years ago. Okay, so be aware of that. Uh, it does ask in a two-year period if this has happened, but it also asks, hey, are you still taking medicine for these issues? All right, so take a peek, peek at that. Uh, this is all your heart stuff, so heart valves, okay? This is your cancer. Remember, with cancer, here's a key, a key, okay? If you've been cancer-free for 91 days, then you can get a modified. If you've been cancer-free for two years, you can get a preferred. Okay, so this is your cancer question. This is asking how long have you been cancer-free? So if you've been cancer-free for 90 days, this will be a yes, and we get a modified. If you've been cancer-free for two years, we click that thing over to no, and we can get a preferred as long as the other questions are no's. Okay, so brain disorders and strokes, no. Any heart disease, Keelan, enlarged hearts, circulatory disorders, heart disorders, no. Any lung disease, emphysema, no. Kidney diseases and failures, no. Diabetes. One thing to watch out for here and keep your eyes open for is neuropathy, okay? Neuropathy. So if anybody has, now listen to me clear, carefully because you're going to fall across this. If anybody has diabetes of any type, whether they're taking pills. Now, again, if you're taking pills, a pill for diabetes, you can be preferred because it's not insulin. It's just a pill. It can be preferred, okay? Um, so, but... Diabetic neuropathy, you're going to find an, a medicine called gabapentin. It is used to treat neuropathy. Okay, now, if you have a client, and listen to me closely because this happens all the time every day with us. If you have a client that is not a diabetic, no diabetes at all, but they take this medicine gabapentin for just leg pain or something, just pain in the leg. But there's no diabetes, we can go preferred. But if they're taking it for any type of diabetes complications, it's going to go modified. It's going to go modified. Okay. Just be prepared to take a look at that and make sure you look at that. Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, lupus. That's where we find a lot of these things here. Seizures. We can treat, we can write a policy for people that have had seizures in the past. 
they're on medications for it. It's just they can't have had a treated uh, a treated a seizure within the last 30 days. Okay. So paranoid schizophrenia, uh, medical profession treatment that hadn't been done. And you can read these two just for time purposes. We're kind of cruising through these. This is your drug and alcohol treatment question. You can read that. And here's the, also the last one. But be, be aware, too, we are one of the few companies that can actually write someone that is on oxygen within our modified policy. Okay, so we can write people that are on wheelchair walkers, and, okay, and we can write them on oxygen. If you find someone that's on oxygen, maybe, uh, you know, and with COPD, let's write them up because we can write them, okay? The next section is the most important section of anything we do. And this is what you get paid for, <clears throat> for the medications. We have to be so diligent at retrieving the medicines from the client, okay? So it's gonna be a lot easier for you if you really tell the client this and square up with them and go, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I need to know everything you've been prescribed, okay? everything you've been prescribed let me kind of clear that up this is there's there's a terminology here is prescribed versus taking and there's a difference here okay, a lot of people will say well i'm not taking that drug well that doesn't make me feel, feel good i'm not taking it it doesn't matter you are prescribed that drug for your element and that's why we need to know it, okay? So make sure it's gonna be make your life a lot easier that you're real brash up front with them and going, I need to know everything you're prescribed. Not everything you're taking, everything you've been prescribed in the last two years, because that's gonna make a difference and it'll make it a lot easier on you to determine whether it's gonna be a preferred or a modified, okay? But right here, they uh, have the name of the medication, GABA or whatever it may be, the number of years taking it. The reason uh, for whatever the reason is, the dosage here, <clears throat> 12 milligrams and the times daily, okay, for, okay, and you just save, okay? So that's gonna go in there underneath your medications. The primary physician piece right here, primary physician, you don't have to have that. The only time we would ever use it is if we needed to talk to the doctor if, they, if you were to pass away in the first two years, okay? So that's the only reason we need it, but you don't, don't hound your clients because Lots of times they don't have that information. And then your banking information, okay? So banking information is very crucial um, because you wanna make sure that your client is giving you the right information here. Okay, so right on bank name, we're just gonna do main, main bank, one, two, three, main, checking account number, account number, routing number, okay? So I'm gonna use an actual routing number here so that our policy will kind of go forward to the next step. And here's the thing, every agent on the line here, I, I strongly suggest two things, go in here and play with this. You can't hurt it. Put some bogus information here or write yourself a policy. You get paid full commissions for it. You don't get paid advanced, you get as earned, but you still get paid full commissions on it, okay? So it's very crucial. Go in there and play around with it. Write yourself a policy. You really, you really, I mean, it's free basically with your commission rates uh, first year. So, and plus here's the other thing. How are you going to go out there and provide coverage to someone with a policy that you don't even have yourself? How do you do it? Because if they ask you, oh, do you have one of these policies? And you have to say no, they're gonna go, well, why am I even talking to you? Okay, you gotta be in the game. You gotta be branded. You gotta know your policy and know what you're doing because that's gonna create confidence which portrays over to the client, and that's gonna help you out tremendously, okay? Accidental death benefit rider and child rider, brand new people on accidental death, you can write an additional up to $25,000 matching uh, what they already have that would call, that would do uh, extra double indemnity. If they were to die in an accident, they would get whatever the face amount is, plus the additional, plus the additional, okay? So if you have an accidental death benefit rider, you can go over here, and put $15,000 or whatever it may be. Child riders, if you have children, okay, under the age of 18, so we can write kids up to 18, up to $10,000, and they fall off at age 25, okay? They fall off at age 25, okay? 
Billing information, really, really critical here too. Uh, a couple of things here on the billing to give me about five minutes and I'll have y'all out of here. On billing, make sure you know uh, if they're on social security or not, because if they are on social security, okay, they get paid typically the second, third or fourth Wednesday of the month, the second, third or fourth Wednesday of the month. We just need to know that because that's when their money goes in there. You want to make sure that the money is there when you go to grab it. Okay, You want to make sure that the money is there when you go to grab it. So that's very crucial there. If they don't have social security or they want, or they don't want the second, third or fourth Wednesday, put a no there. Okay. And then this is just going to allow you which day of the month do you want your policy typically taken out on? So which day of the month do you want your bill to go? And then the other question is, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, do you want this drafted immediately? You know, when it goes to the cut, when it goes to the company, do you want it immediately? Yes. Go ahead and, and draft it immediately. Okay. So today is the 29th of the month, okay? So today is the 29th. If you get a policy in the day, it will probably draft and be effective on the 30th, okay? But look at this, look at this. If we draft immediately, the next draft date is gonna be on the 13th. That's only 13 days from now. So in actuality, the company will not draft on the 13th of May. It will not draft on the 13th of May they will take this and it will be to the 6th. It'll be June 13th, okay? Because that's longer than 30 days. Okay? So our company will never draft twice within 30 days. We just don't do that, okay? So let's clear this. Let's say the client doesn't have any money right now. They're broke. Let's go ahead and write the policy. Let's go ahead and write the policy. We'll get it into the company. We won't draft now, and then you won't have your first premium, and the policy won't go effective till the 13th of May. Okay. So we can do, if you've got a customer right now, they just don't have the money in the bank, don't worry about it. Write them up and they can choose when they want their first initial payment to be drafted out. First initial payment drafted out. One other caveat here, on routing and account numbers, a lot of people, a lot of people are going in here and choosing debit card versus credit card, okay? On a debit card, on a debit card, you still have a bank account, okay? So the best thing you can do, especially if I want to go over here and run a quote, like a rate calculator, look at the difference in the premium of a debit card versus a checking account. And, and it's basically coming out of the same place. It's coming out of the same place. It's just you have to do a little bit of due diligence to go in and find that bank account number and that routing number. Okay, so look at the difference of the rates right here. So you're really helping your customer out because you're looking at right here, you know, especially a couple of three or four dollars for a monthly direct versus a, an EFT. Okay, in lots of cases, it's even more than that. Okay, it's drastically like three dollars or so in lots of cases. So help your client out when you're doing that. Okay, uh, where's my way about? Okay, help them if you have to drive them to the bank to get their debit card, I mean, their, their routing number and account number. Do it, you know, that's okay. All right, and then going down here, replacing, are you or are you not replacing in the state of Texas or any state, if you're replacing a policy, you have to fill out the replacement form. But most of the time, I just tell my clients, hey, let's go ahead and put this policy into play. And then when you get it, we can cancel the other one. Okay, so you click over to no, do you have an existing life policy? And this is not asking, so once you clear it up, this is not asking, do you have any other life insurance policies out there? This just means, are you going to replace one? So most, 95% of the time, it's going to be no. And then you just, this, a lot of agents miss this too. So watch this pretty clearly. Uh, is the proposed insured an immediate family member? Are they a spouse? Are they a son or a daughter or a mother? Yes or no. If they are, you have to click yes and you will get paid as earned. You won't get advanced on family, but you do get full commissions. You get full commissions. Most of the time people put no. Okay. And then this is me as the agent. That'd be your signature. And you just type your signature right here and that's how you do it. If you want to split a commission with another agent, you can. That's, that's no problem. And this is the prescription authorization. This means Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Uh, we are going to pull your prescriptions to make sure we match them up. And this is actually the city in which the client is in. It's the city where the client is in. Okay, so it's phone verified. So phone verified here. Okay, 
So the client doesn't have to sign anything. We're going to hit submit. And again, if you're an agent right now, you can go all the way to this step and hit this submit button and it still won't send it. So if you want to play around and uh, with the policy, you can. Okay. So look at this. Next screen. Based on the information you provided, your client applied for the preferred plan. So based on the fact that I had all no's over there, I would get a preferred. Now, that doesn't mean I've got a preferred because I still haven't run the script check yet. That just means based on all the questions that I answered. Okay, so from this point on, what you would do, I'm not going to do it because this is the one that would send it. You would go in here and you would hit your submit button. Okay, and right here at the bottom, and uh, I would accept it and go forward. If you get to this point, you want to change the, the base amount something, it's pretty cool. You can do this. You just do 10,000 right there, and it will change the premium, calculate the premium for you, uh, 2907. So if you get the end and they decide they want a little bit less or a little bit more, you can always change that before you send it in. Okay, any details you want to send to the underwriters or to the, or to the, the team? You know, if you prefer a Spanish, you know, verification, you can put it here. Uh, if you have anything to tell the, um, if you have gabapentin that's only for leg pain, you can put gabapentin for leg pain. Anything you want to tell the underwriters, you hit I accept and you submit that thing over. Okay. And then once you submit, look at this right here over the phone. Once you submit that, you will call right here, home office, and do the phone verification. It takes about three minutes to complete. Okay, so you submit the policy, call the company. If it's outside of the hours, if it's outside of the hours of operation, then basically do one of two things. Schedule a time to help the client call back during our hours of operation. Misspelled there. Hours of operation. Schedule a time. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I'll call y'all back tomorrow uh, during these hours of operation, and uh, we will do the phone verification. If not, the company will call, the company will call back the client from an 801 number. So if the client will be getting calls from an 801 number, you can simply just tell the client, hey, answer the phone call from an 801 number. That is your phone verification, and they will be doing that with you. But first and foremost, try the three-way call, okay? So I need you to play with your phone a little bit and get used to three-way calling. So practice on your kids or whoever. Uh, it is to do a three-way call and knock that out, okay, from a three-way call, all right? And that's how you do it. It's as simple as that. You submitted a web application and a policy, and you are done, okay? So that is how to sell a policy over the phone, okay? So I'm now at an hour and 25 minutes, and uh, I just can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for you know, for, for what y'all do. I can't thank you enough for, for being the agent uh, that you are, for being with Security National Life. Uh, it just means so much to me, so much to me. So in summary here, if you can make it down here to Georgetown, I'd love to see you and shake your hand, hug your neck, whatever we do. Um, I'm vaccinated, so we're in good shape. <laughs> so I got that done. Um, but come down, you know, let's bleed blue. Let's protect some families, okay? Let's work on everybody two plus policies. Let's serve people, okay? Get involved in your community. Buy some leaves, okay? Um, let's, let's protect some people. They're looking for you. Let's get branded, okay? Branding is important, okay? So let's do that. I just want you to know that I'm here for you. I am here for you, every single one of you. And I, I just want you, every policy that we write, is another family protected. Nothing against other insurance, but it's not just an auto insurance coverage. It's not just a home policy. It's not just a commercial policy. It's not just a 401k. It's not a Bitcoin. It's a family protected. And these people really appreciate it, y'all. They really appreciate it. They, we're writing a little ten, fifteen thousand dollars that means the world to them. And if you if you get in these classes and you hear people's testimonies, uh, even agents that you know. I lost, we lost two great agents last year that were normally on these calls. Two great agents we lost last year to COVID. Miguel Alvarez and Kent Moore. I mean, they wouldn't mind me telling you that, but two, they were in their late 40s and they're gone. 
uh, and there are agents for us. And there may be others too that I don't know about. I just know of those two because I got the phone calls. Uh, but there now is the time because people are wondering what's going to happen in this world. I might not die of old age. And the second thing is, is that too, is that um, the agent is the client's in charge. The client's in charge because we can either do it in person with them and take care of them, or we can do it now over the phone. Either or you have a strength. So I'm going to leave with this. Find your strength. Remember, we don't produce robots. We sharpen tools. We sharpen swords. You, every one of you have a sword that's used. And uh, I'm just here to help you out. Uh, I'm your backseat driver if you need me. And uh, call me, text me, anything you want to do, come down and see me. We'll have a Coke together. Uh, I know it's a long drive for some of y'all, but I really appreciate it. I think you'll get a lot out of it, not just from me, but from the peers around you. Uh, and leave branded, and um, we'll do that. So happy Thursday. Have a great rest of the day. I really appreciate everybody sitting and listening to me rattle on. Uh, if you need anything, let me know. I'm here to help you out. And as we always say in Texas and around here, adios.